The views expressed in the following podcast are quite possibly the most idiotic we've ever opined. They do not reflect the views of our employers, friends, spouses, any sane person, and definitely not our sober selves. Please do not attempt to express these views at home. Your mileage may vary. Welcome to Two and Change. The people are real, the drinking is real, and the opinions, unfortunately, are also real. On today's show, we're hey, going... Hey, Tim, are are we using my script for the intro skit? No, 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 wait. You promised me I could do mine. Um, yeah, sorry, Josh. I, I did promise Mike. Awesome. I've been working on this for weeks. Here's a copy for you, and here's a copy for you. Okay, uh, so just a cold read then? Mm-hmm, yep, give it a try. Gee, it's sure a shame that I am homeless following that tornado. I agree. I shouldn't have relied on the government to save my home. I'm often wrong about things. I wonder how Mike is doing. Hello, guys. Hello, Mike. You sure are looking well-fed and quite wealthy today. Thank you. My home was spared because I didn't rely on socialist handouts for my family's needs. I'm glad to hear that. My wife left me for a more successful man. I'm bad at math and don't understand basic economic terms. Oh, come on, Mike. What the hell is this? Come on, come on. Just go with it. Mike, I I agree. This sucks. What? What? Let's let, let's let's skip to my script. I agree. We'll, we'll do yours instead. We were just getting to the punchline. Okay, Tim, you have the first line. Okay. <clears throat> I wish that I had evacuated on time, but since I defied the government evacuation order, everyone I love is now dead and my life lies in ruins. That's a shame. The government put me up at a Holiday Inn. Justin Trudeau personally sang me to sleep. If only we had listened to you and paid more taxes, Josh. Now I see that we ignore the proletariat in favor of the bourgeois at our own peril. Blood alone may move the wheels of history, but only bread, work, and peace is the only way forward. I'm glad you agree. Indeed, in bourgeois society, therefore, the past dominates the present. In communist society, the present dominates the past? In bourgeois society, capital is independent and has individuality, while the living person is dependent and has no individuality? Josh? Mm, Yeah? Did you just make Mike quote the Communist Manifesto? Yep. You son of a bitch! Welcome to Unchanged. This is Josh, and I am drinking shit. what has got to be... Crap. Shit. What the hell is this? You're drinking shit. So, this is... This is uh, bullshit. That's what this Montezuma's is. There's Montezuma's revenge, and then there's my revenge. This is my revenge. <laughs> so, like, what did I do to you? <laughs> this is like... You, you episode, participated. I did. Yeah. Eight. When did you guys <laughs> switch my beer out for a PBR? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was eight, thinking eight, I was drinking like a craft beer, and it was a PBR. And yeah. you fell for it. Lock, yeah. stock, and barrel. Sort of. I yeah, wouldn't have fallen for this, though. Nope. No, no, at least the people. This, this. Um, unless you just like piss in the bottle, then so, I. T- yeah. Shall we formally <laughs> introduce the beer? Yeah, so it's a dollar forty-five. Fuck a beer. Fuck a beer. So and Bitches. it's in a glass bottle. So Promises it's basically made. a dollar beer. Promises. It's kept. called Stonewall Promises Light. Promises of diarrhea. <laughs> it's um, made by a brewery. I shit you not. Cool brewery. They're a legit brewery. Yeah. You call this legit? Coolbeer.com. Well, beer. <laughs> I add a squeeze of lime. There is no ingredients. There's no ingredients. Don't list the ingredients. You don't oh, wait, want sorry. to know. This product contains malted barley. Yeah, well, and, and what else? And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It also contains... Cool um, water, urine, and... Uh, liquefied depression, basically. Yeah. Yeah. This is a like... A little formaldehyde if, for If flavoring. I drink too much whiskey, take a piss, I bet this is what comes out. More or less, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is bad. Exactly, yeah. All right. On the mediocre scale... It's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I give it a. I give it a. See, this is weird. I, I hate. I this give this beer. a urine. I hate this. <laughs> I, I hate this, this beer. It's absolutely disgusting. It smells gross. It has an aftertaste that and tastes yeah. like. You know, there's one person ass. listening to this right now going, "Hey, I but, like that beer." But, <laughs> a bunch of snobs. Doesn't matter. That's how I. That's how I see it. Into the mic, Josh. This is an audio yeah, format. Well, I'm smelling the beer. It's, it gives a. <laughs> you can smell with your nose, around. not with your mouth. We talked about this. Oh, we did. 
Okay. All right. Uh, anyways, and that just got weird. Okay. <laughs> Awkward Again. turtle. Okay. Awkward. Um, yeah, so I give it like a mediocre scale of like a three because it reminds me of the shitty beer I used to steal when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's back before you were eighteen or nineteen or yeah. whatever. Uh, 19. Twenty. It's like twenty one. Yeah, yeah, twenty one. You only, you only was, need to be yeah. five to get a shotgun where he's from. But <laughs> but twenty one. Twenty one. Want to drink a beer? <laughs> anyway, this is Mike. I am actually drinking. Believe it or not, the reason why we're all so upset about this is because I'm drinking the same thing. Josh, I was going to go for like a wonderful, you know, a wonderful piece of whiskey, uh, pouring it from the, and then this guy says nope, and he hands me this bottle of swill yeah and uh, i can tell you that it smells like a like a skunk had diarrhea in the bottle that's that's (laughs) what it smells like and it does not taste as bad as it smells but it tastes really bad on my mediocre (laughs) scale i'm gonna give it uh metal toxicity and a russian spy's (laughs) anus and of course this is tim i'm also drinking a stonewall light a light lager um no light beer no, it's it's a, it's a sil- it's a lager. I know that. It says beer. Doesn't oh. say lager. <laughs> it says light. Beer. I know it's a lager, but you know this stuff's uh, only four percent alcohol. Are you sure? Are you sure it's a lager? Does it meet the technical requirements to be a lager? If it was cold fermented, which I guarantee you, that's how they came yeah. up with this. <laughs> they couldn't afford to heat it, so it's, it's only it's only four percent. Like, what was this? Like, was it? No, brewed? no. There's plenty of beers that are like lighter beers that I enjoy, but. This Co- has one tenth would it make, of the would alcohol it make, that I'm used to. Call it a session lager. Then your session artisanal crafted hand uh, diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to You lost it. me at the D word. <laughs> I would need to drink 10 of I've these. I've never lost you at the D word. Awkward. <laughs> anyway, today's topic. Uh, yeah, we're talking about... Um, <laughs> oh, yes. And we have a member in the audience. Hi, Andrea. Thanks for sitting in just yeah. for in the audience. Hey, live, guys. live studio audience. In. Yay, live studio audience. Yep. We, we've made her mic hot just for fun. Yep. Uh, but yeah, if she does, if she does, if she pipe says, in. Then, 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 we're cool. Yeah. No hey worries. guys. Hey. 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 <laughs> now they're going to think At least tell us what you're drinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. I have a Cronenberg Blanc. Not mm. so pissy. Not so <laughs> shitty. Very good. It's not a bad beer, actually. Mm. The regular Cronenberg, not so much, but the Blanc's mm. actually quite good because it's the, it's kind of, I think it's a wheat ale. I'm not sure. But anyway. Out of it all is. the beers yeah. that you've introduced me to through the show, I think I actually have genuinely enjoyed maybe two of them. So really? Yeah. You might be still one of them is downstairs. That's a um, that's a French beer. The French, the French, they do beer. They're known for their beer. No, they're not. No, they're not. But, <laughs> but it's their sort of national beer. Fair anyway, enough. today's topic. Uh, what's yeah. this, what are we talking about besides disaster this? relief? I think. Disaster relief. Speaking yes. of disasters, yeah. Glad you guys knew. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not pay attention <laughs> when we were doing the skit read? earlier? Come on, man. You, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you act like I read. Yeah, I know this right? stuff. Like, yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. Do you apparently read the Communist Manifesto? <laughs> I have never I read the Google. Communist Manifesto. I have. What? <laughs> I read sections of it. He just in lives university, but I never actually read it. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah, I, I had to read it in school. It's uh, it's it's wordy. Yeah, it was, to, to teach their own means. It's, something it's written other. by this Carl guy. I got really Carl. Bored. Yeah, I have no Carl idea. and his buddy. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Laura Ingalls Wilder, Wilder, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, I think <laughs> yeah, that's who it was. Laura Ingalls Wilder. I think he got like two books in one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that, that time two, where he, the time where Karl Marx goes lives in a sod house on the prairie. Exactly. And becomes a woman. Yes. <laughs> now I'm picturing it becoming like one of those choose your own adventure books. That's right? where yes. my brain went. Yeah. It's like the 21st it's century. Like a Mad Lib. Exactly. exactly. 20th century philosophy. Karl Marx your own. and yeah. Laura Ingalls Wilder yeah. go live in Montana. Exactly. Yeah. With a very nice. Pony. That's right. There we go. That's how yeah. Mad Libs. Anyway, so disaster relief. Uh, I guess yeah. this is coming out of the fact that Hurricane Florence, by the time this goes to air, will have ripped apart half of the Eastern Seaboard. Well, they already whatever. are as we're talking. And hey, if you're down there and you're listening. Don't play games hey, with just, it. It's a big one. Oh, God. It's going to be very wet. I, I'm thinking more of like Trump with his bullshit about the, oh, the 3,000 dead Puerto Ricans or, you know. He's like, blaming the mayor about. of some city for that, right? Yeah. He's well, blaming the governor really, of- Puerto well, Rico. the Puerto Rico, yeah. What really kind of spurred Embarrass me onto this topic, though, was more so. There's this this picture went around the internet of millions and millions of bottled bottled water yeah. on the tarmac of the airport of the airport that's been sitting there for over a year, and they won't deliver because it. FEMA thought they can just drop it off and leave, and. Th- then Puerto Rico going, we don't have trucks. So what were we supposed to do? 
and then turn into a pissing match. So the question is, I guess I have, what is the gov- what should the government role be when it comes to delivering aid? <laughs> Mike, you go first. I believe... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go back to... Do you remember... And her, by the way, this this beer is horrible. Yes, it is. Horrible. Yeah, I think that's a universal... I'm not, I would through, rather guys. drink scope. Is it, halfway through. Is it, Just we, we did that would you rather, actually. You'd rather drink soap. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, this is... Remember I said I would rather drink liquid dish soap? Yep. Yes, that is what I'm drinking. No, there. I'll drink this over liquid dish soap. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, well, here's what I think. The end result might be the same, though. I'm not <laughs> sure. Yeah. It cleans the system, I think. <laughs> yeah. So I remember when Hurricane Katrina first happened, there was a whole bunch of government screw-ups when they were trying to fix that problem as well. What I also remember about Hurricane Katrina is that before the hurricane arrived, there were already a bunch of trucks from the Mormon church on their way to there with supplies and everything that would be needed to set up all kinds of shops and supply depots and everything else that way. So do I believe the government has a role to play? I reluctantly concede some role, but as minimal as possible because any role you give them, they will screw it up. Okay, but that's more of a... It's almost like a minarchist stance you have there for that one. Yeah, minarchist. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that the government has... The the idea behind FEMA, which is a federal emergency... FEMA, FEMA. Oh. ...management oh, no, sorry, agency. Sorry. Yep. Federal management, management agency. Management. Yep. They're there to herd the cats. They're not necessarily... Like, shell out the cash, the cash were required. Sure. But, I mean, I think the bare minimum job of the government is to make sure... Aid is getting to where it needs to go. So basically, you need a system that cuts through the cruft of saying, oh, well, this is a state responsibility, and this is a city responsibility, and oh, this is a whatever responsibility, and they just sort of cut through. And what do you guys think about? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if cruft is a word. Cruft. Cruft is a word. Cruft. Cruft. Andrew, cruft. is cruft a word? I'm not. I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> the theater is great over was. here. Yeah. So I'm, just, I'm just spectating. The okay. live studio audience chooses to be the audience. <laughs> that's that's probably that's fair. Fair enough. <laughs> no, so a cruft is. So if I'm gonna like put it in, it's some a very cromulent a, word. It's a cr- <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what you're saying is that basically uh, uh, all of the different organizations that deliver the aid and actually administer the aid themselves, they are the the charitable organizations that are kind of running it. FEMA is like Tommy Lee Jones over it going like, all right, I need you boys over there. I need you guys over here. And I need yes, somebody on this tarmac yes, right now. Why isn't anybody on this tarmac? Actually, yes. He did play a FEMA agent in that in the Volcano movie. He did. He was he FEMA. He was a FEMA agent. He was a FEMA agent. And we need more shit like that. Not not. You mean FEMA. We, need, we need more Tommy Lee we Jones? We need more movies. Tommy Lee Jones Volcano movies. Boy, <laughs> Yeah. You know what? Yes. We've got... We've, we we we've do. Lost. Okay. <laughs> where, 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 uh, all, all I'm going to say, 1990s, Yeah. there was one Tommy Lee Jones Volcano movies, and guess what? Massive economic growth. 2000s, biggest zero. market crash we've and, had. And zero Tommy since, Lee Jones. And zero Tommy Lee Jones films. <laughs> well, not had films. volcanoes. Well, oh, with volcanoes, yeah. Okay. I'm telling you. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying correlation equals causation, but I think the implications are clear. The, well, because of the implication. And we risk not having more Tommy Lee Jones. Problem is, films. isn't the guy in his 70s now? I don't even know. Like, he's, I would love to see him fight a I, volcano in his 70s. I will right? only take another volcano if we get a second Armageddon. Because <laughs> no, yeah. You know what yes, I was... Yes, Armageddon 2. Because there was an Armageddon film in the 1996 or 1998. There was an Armageddon movie. Yeah. 2000s. No Armageddon. So we need that movie too. Thank you, Josh. Yes. Deep Impact. Nah, fuck that movie. <laughs> I thought there'd be way more sex. I feel like in the first decade of the new millennium, there might not have been any Picard either. No, there there, there was. Oh uh, no, when, when no, was Nemesis? Nemesis? Oh. 2003. 2003? Okay, 2003. so after 2003, that was the major economic crisis happened. There was no Jean-Luc Picard movies. Hmm. No Star Trek The Next Generation happened. I think Ron is something. I think so. I and, think we should tell these people in FEMA. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, well, well, FEMA Bush won't exist uh, anymore because they've, they've funneled Trump's all their money a, to ICE. Yeah, I was going to say, Trump's not very shy about funneling the money. He's funneled yeah. to Tommy Lee Jones. Is right? It, no, he the, could I, use the work. It, uh, what is he up to these days? Tommy Lee Jones or Trump? We know what Trump's up to. Yeah, what is Tommy Lee Jones up to? Is he is he filming anything right now? Like, right, right at this moment? We don't know what Trump's up is to. He, he does he have probably taking a shit and going to bed. He's in his 70s. <laughs> that was <laughs> extremely rude. Ageist, yeah. ageist? It was but, ageist. But accurate. No, no, Sorry, like, it's this beer. It's affecting <laughs> Hey, Patrick Stewart's in his 80s, and he's about to launch a new a new Picard series. So Okay, back on topic. Uh, right, yes, back on topic. <laughs> the topic is Tommy Lee Jones movies. No, it's not. The topic is... Disaster relief. Yes. Disaster and who's relief. responsible for it? So I've given my piece. Government, the role that they have, they're going to screw it up anyway, so keep it as small as possible. Uh, my piece let, is 
government should be empowered with the administrative capacity to basically come in with the knife, say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This is what we're doing. Basically have somebody I'm basically, in command. I'm basically, I, I don't give a shit in those situations. He's the, he wants a recovery czar. I want, I want <laughs> yeah, I, I want a fucking dictator. I want a fucking Caesar to come in in these situations just for this one little thing so you don't have situations like, well, we got buses over here, but they belong to the state. You literally well, do you want can. Tommy Lee Jones. I want fucking Tommy who, Lee who, Jones <laughs> with dictatorial powers. Wait, who basically <laughs> steps out in the middle of a New York street, waves his gun at some I want every citizen. dog house. I want every... <laughs> yeah, well, how do, uh, every, every in-house... Every dog house. house yeah, yeah, yeah. Filled every, with refugees. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, every every gas station, residence, uh, yeah, dog pet, house, yeah. dog house was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys penthouse, hen house, Katrina. yeah, uh, penthouse, uh, yeah, penthouse, hen house, and dog house. <laughs> <laughs> they did that, didn't they? Just like put all the people in the sky dome. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of, of of a certain racial persuasion, and I think that was the problem. Well, that's one of the problems. <laughs> sort of what happens problem. when you have well, if you ask well, Brownie did pass. a heck of a job, yeah. just not with the. Uh, Hey, anyway, yeah. Uh, anyway, Josh, you're a tell all night. Yeah, Josh, let's hear it. Let me guess. You want what do you, What do you think I want? I think you want expanded government powers, and I think you want them to have all the money in the world, all I, of my money. I actually, oh, as so you I, don't have money. So I actually you have six children. I actually believe in fair a fair comment. Uh, fair uh, comment. <laughs> arms length, uh, but governmentally controlled, no profit motive, insurance sort of like a cooperative for emergency disaster relief. Hmm. Okay, you know, Josh, we'll have you expand on that uh, when we come back from break. Very good. Uh, where I'm sure I will be vomiting violently from whatever <laughs> the fuck this is. Are you expecting we'll me to be finish right back. this beer? You're listening to Two and Change, the podcast where whiskey is the most superior drink. Hold on just one damn minute. There are many drinks out there. Like Kahlua and coffee. I need my caffeine. And And beer. beer. And uh, those drinks exist. Whiskey is better. You know what else is better? Our website, twoandchange.ca. Better than what? Better than all of the above. Uh, Where you can also find our blog at twoandchange.ca. You can also look us up on Facebook and Twitter. Follow us there. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying the show. And welcome to the second half of the show. Want to so- go shave a dog? <laughs> lick the book. Lick the book. <laughs> book, 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 book. <laughs> well, it's like that old joke. How many kids with ADD take screw in a light bulb? Huh? Want to go ride bikes? Yes. Sweet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. And we've swapped audience studio members. So welcome, Pearly. Pearly will be on our next episode where we talk about... No, Pearly was on the previous episode. Fuck, I get confused. Dude. Yeah, the timeline. Pearly is time oh, traveling. Oh, man. The timeline. A fucking wormhole or something in the shit. Anyway... So we knocked back those nasty things, and now we are drinking proper drinks. So I'm drinking a Czech Far Dark out of an Erdinger glass for some reason, Josh. <laughs> I, I grabbed two beer. Well, I grabbed that might be the snobbiest thing I've said in a long time. That's very Josh. elitist of you. Very elitist. I sorry, Tim. I mistake. It, it's a good beer. It's just not nosing properly, it's, man. Uh, oh, my, there it is. My, yeah, my, yes, it's, it's, I, it's wrong on the nose. I grabbed two that. beers. One of them was a Czech Far Dark because I know it's something that's in this house. And I figured I was going to drink it, it's and then so I poured good. it, it's and so then weedy. I. The other beer I got was an Airdinger, so I was like, oh, it's pouring Airdinger, in the Airdinger. Don't call it. It's so good. I yeah. That beer. And then yeah. I yeah. grabbed the wrong glass. There it yeah. is. So uh, but what so what you have now is Canada Club 12 year yeah. and Club Soda. Yeah, it's good. It's, we like it's, it. it's it's actually it's a nice drink if you're gonna drink all day. So we swap drinks just because even like the I You can't really drink like all day unless you start in the morning. That's right. Anyway, what do you think? I have, I have uh, switched to emergency Shivas Regal to get that taste <laughs> out of my mouth. Emergency Shivas Regal. <laughs> emergency Shivas Regal, 12 year. Uh, the, the, the blended one, I think I was uh, drinking on the last episode as well because it's it's not that buck of beer stuff. Um, oh, God. That stuff was. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah you're right. Diarrhea. It's not. <laughs> it, it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so before we. Uh, went hold on, on break, hold on, hold on. Okay, and I'm okay. drinking the Shivas Regal out of a Yoda glass. That's right. You always drink the Yoda glass. No, I usually drink out the Leia or the Luke's kind of Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, like, I like drinking Leia. <laughs> I think a lot of Shut people up. did. 
<laughs> like, lo- lo- look it up. She had a thing. Anyway, so, uh, Josh, before yeah. we went on break, you were talking about advocating uh, some sort of national insurance sort of scheme. Yeah, for, I think okay. so. Tell, I me think, I Tell me think, more. Tell me more. I think it's the most. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, did he have an HMO? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, that, I don't know. <laughs> insurance. Of HMO. Uh, I got nothing. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, no, I, I think it's probably the most uh, realistic uh, solution because, um, yeah. With stuff like emergency planning, government gets that shouldn't be political ever. No, um, I agree, but it often is. It, it often is. is. Like look so, at look yeah. at Puerto Rico. So yes. arms length, an arms length insurance agency that is paid for basically by the government. So it is paid for by taxes uh, to offset that cost, but it that's only to get it off the ground, and then it becomes then it should be a ways to become self sustaining. So sign it, so have it where it's an so investment you're talking about like if a this pension is in, or something. So you're talking about in Canada, it would be sort of like a crown corporation. Yeah, like a crown corporation. Or like hold on, CMHC hold on. for like mortgage insurance. Actually, you know like what? That. I, or better yet, what we do right now. I notice that whenever we have like a severe disaster in Canada, it doesn't get really political up here not that much no like, because we're 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 not fucking crazy well but like we, well we are i mean we, look at fucking doug ford right now but, but but like if we look at for example we lose the maritime provinces under like 14 meters of snow or something stupid like that and or toronto under three inches yes exactly yeah and nobody's <laughs> nobody is is calling names or pointing fingers it's just all right the military shows up well, let's get this done right i mean yeah. fort mcmurray burned to the ground mostly and uh and there was no yeah, like, well the literally. conservatives blocked up well the liberals to the, the none of that was happening it was just no. let's just let's pick up the the pieces and get this going again which is which is something i appreciate about how our government functions is that we don't have we have levels of government in canada yeah but the way the responsibility works is much different it's a simpler in, in system. some in some ways the provinces are more autonomous yeah and in some ways they're less autonomous mm-hmm. so what has been decided as a federal responsibility versus a provincial versus a municipal responsibility but it's not a really, different really nice i mean what really, the fort mcmurray is probably the one of the more recent ones that we have here mm-hmm. premier declared state of emergency that had a direct and immediate impact and the troops on came in like immediately exactly and, like, like the, was, all the resources like it, Government said, blank check. What do you want? And like, here's the thing. Yep. I fault Stephen Harper on a lot of things. I can fault Trudeau on a lot of things. I've never faulted any of them of how they have reacted to disasters. Agreed. Because yep. I don't know if that's something in the character of our country, how we react to things. Maybe so far. So far. Maybe well, has, has BC declared a state of emergency over the forest fire? They have. Yet? Yeah, yeah. And, but and but again, what's, ha- what's happening? They're bringing in forest fighter or firefighters from all over the world. They are. Yep. So, I mean, they, it's not like, you know, they're slacking yeah. off on it. They got a blank check for it, which yeah. which they should. We're not yeah. talking about, you know, human when, when, lives. When it comes, well, yeah, when it comes to human lives, I don't think that we should be quibbling over a few dollars here and there, especially when, you know, we probably waste that on just fucking cream cheese for the bagels on the PMO well, look, spread half the time. Look. It happened once where the NDP basically wasted three days worth of $167,000 a year of a room full of MPs' time arguing over an $8 nah, glass of orange nah, juice. Nah, 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 look, nah. look, the NDP was arguing <laughs> over an $8 glass of orange juice once. Like, come on. Like, that if you know that sort of thing can happen, and I'm glad that that's the sort of thing that does not happen when you have, like, this natural disaster. Or when you on. spend, you know, how many millions of dollars investigating the Senate. For example. For example. Yeah. For there's a lot, yeah. There's a lot of waste of money. So <laughs> that's, that comes back <laughs> to my. So that's what comes back to my thing, though. Is is I think it should just be an arm's length uh, I mean, organization keep, keep, and never keep at, in even mind, have the risk of populism or. But keep or, in yeah, mind, you need control, some political you know. oversight. Otherwise, there is going to be graft. There's going to be corruption if you do not have some controls in place in the money. So what's the oversight that we have there now? Was, there was no control. There was no. I like, I like what we do. We don't was, have a problem. No, no, a great, a great, no yeah. there was very little corruption within the wheat board. Fair okay, enough. but the Fair wheat enough. board so, like, isn't the wheat board isn't Saskatchewan burning to the ground. The wheat no, board is I, I wheat. Just, I understand what you're saying. Also, my, I believe that was an SRO. Yeah, I think so. So the Hey oh um, point for the libertarian. <laughs> so like uh so for audience and uh, SRO stands people. for self regulatory organization. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> that being said, that's that's sort of the model. I'm smart. Off. Mm. That's sort of the that's sort of the uh, model I'm going for. SMRG is I Hack think I th- because because it, <laughs> it it takes about it doesn't you know we've been very lucky in Canada. I make the wheat board go, uh, grow. But a lot of countries aren't, and yeah. and Canada is. To be fair, it also helps. There's only 34 million people in this country, yes. spread out over something almost the size of Russia. Uh, yeah. Of so which I mean, of which let's be real, 40 percent is habitable. Like. And oh, we we've got the largest land. Ma- and like, here's the thing: we, we can't necessarily thing. fall in love or love. I keep saying this: fall we in cannot, love with the smell of our own farts. Yeah, because we ha- tend to do that quite a bit on the show. But sure. the problem is, is that 
what constitutes a disaster. I mean, look at First Nations, uh, the state of some of the reserves where they have no, schools, no, no water. There's no potable water in some of these places, yeah. Less than which 10%. should be a disaster. Which should be. That's an... It's become an entirely different issue in the in the native reserve. Sure, area. sure it is, but yeah. okay, let's let's get away from I not even really apples to oranges, but let's just sure. say apples to oranges. Um, let's compare let's, how we do it and how we no, love no, ourselves. Like, I think also to some extent we've been a little bit lucky in Canada. Oh. Our national disasters are terrible and and widespread. They are just a little less than other parts of the world. D- yeah, it depends yeah. on. Isn't depends like a third where. of the province of BC on fire right now? Yeah, we've got a lot of trees. We have a lot we've of trees. We've, we've lost a lot, a lot of, trees of fucking trees. It's a big. It's a whole problem, but it's it's economic. I would problem. say, but it's it's not the same. It's as, not people. It's yeah. yeah How did that Tommy Lee Jones thing go? It's just like, all right, no, what's past this street? No more homes. No more department stores. Homes. People. If we don't stop this thing now, they're going to be defenseless. Remember how they had like the fire trucks pressing yeah. up against like the concrete barriers? Uh, yeah, that's what we need. We need that. If only forest fires were lava, right? And only Tommy Lee okay, Jones was in charge. All right. So <laughs> fine. We can fine. see. So, so your solution is basically mine. Tommy and Lee just, Jones. And Tommy Lee solution. Jones is the is the CEO of this organization. Um, well, you I'm can not, do it. I'm, you know, here's the thing. I'm not necessarily opposed, but for a couple different reasons. I mean. What pisses me off is that when the government puts in an evacuation order saying they don't do it just because they want to, like, come back and steal I'm your... not going. Yeah, I've been here for my whole well, life. Grand Pappy, the government's not going to come back and steal your goddamn TV. Because what pisses me off is that those people who stay yep. and then all, like, okay, granted, if you're infirmed, if you have a medical issue, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you're too broke. In that case, they can evacuate inf- you. Yeah, I'm too. I, I'm too poor. Look, here's the bus. It's going to be here. Get on it. Get out. Like, yeah, I mean, well, it's not like it's case. not like make sure you buy your plane ticket with your own money but and then, get out of the here's place. Here's the thing. No, it's more for complicated every. Than that. But for every dollar they spend on people who refuse to evacuate, yeah, how much are they like? We only with, resources are finite. Yep. So I have to wonder: Are there people who have mobility issues, people with poverty issues, who can't evacuate because your ass wanted to stay on the land? So one of the things about that that I appreciated about Hurricane ah, last year, or the year before, oh, yeah. uh, Puerto Rico, or no, yeah, Harvey, yeah, 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 or yeah. Harvey in Har- uh, yeah, in, Harvey uh, in Texas, yeah, exactly. There okay. was basically a moment where the uh, the emergency personnel put out like tweets and information saying, "Listen, we're going to be responding to emergency calls in this area until this time. After that." You're on your own. Like, we're not sending rescue teams into this area after this. And I want to give a shout out to all those emergency workers who put their ass on the line. Hell yes. My God. I mean, those people, they work tireless hours to. And like, I was reading about this organization in the US. For a lot of the cases, they're doing it to clean up after stupid people. Yeah. And Mm. or I'm reading about this case of um, this group called the Cajun Navy that was formed after Katrina. Okay. Basically, volunteers with boats. Yeah. They will yeah. go out and come after your ass. Absolutely. They're just, they're just civilian volunteers with fucking boats. Isn't it amazing what that, happens when the government's bottoms. not involved? Oh, but wait, they're not being properly supervised. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well, that could be dangerous if there's a situation. But. Sure. So let's leave the guy out there to drown. Sometimes that might be the safest situation <laughs> for everyone. Versus whoa, whoa, versus whoa, whoa, taking whoa, whoa, what versus <laughs> taking the three other That's people called, on the boat down with it's them. It's called it's called emergency triage. That happens. It happens. Uh, right? Okay, fair enough. Right? Like yeah. yeah. Let's go and get the one person who's out on out in the sea. Let's take our fifty man ship crew down to the bottom of the ocean because of the one dude. Because like, of the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, mean, fine. Point well taken. At the end of, at the end of the day, what it comes down to for me is that one, the funds have to be made available, and two. Mm. It, but the problem is with a lot of governments is that they throw money at a problem, ours included, and this is not just emergency relief, but lots of other problems. They just throw money at it and hope the problem goes away. Mm. But that doesn't really solve things. So look well, at it look at kicks Maria, the problem. For well, it kicks the problem out of the media spotlight, which is what matters sure. to them. Yeah. So, so, so in that sense, it does fix the problem as far as they're so concerned. So here's here's a here's a political here's a political problem that really concerns me in terms of emergency management or emergency response, whatever you want to call it. Um, is in the case of North Carolina, yeah. um, one of the things that North Carolina is going to face, and we'll probably by the time this comes out here start hearing a lot about it, is North Carolina put in laws in place to not to do any uh, studies on climate change related uh water intrusion salt water intrusion mm. rising sea levels anything that actually might affect yeah, their state about this so they actually don't have a full database set that's proper and up to date over the last 10 15 years because they've been so politicized on avoiding climate change that the effects of climate change 
being her all of being a sudden hurricane, uh, one yeah. of them being hurricane Florence is all of a sudden the over. once in a millennium flood it, or storm well is hang on now once, a once in a every century. 10 years what once in a century i mean listen this did happen no, before this whole, in, the, in the 50s all of this has happened before yeah, all of this will happen again. All of this will happen. Yeah, there's again. Like, there's <laughs> nothing new under the like sun. There's like nine <laughs> tropical storms named right now at once in the yeah. world. That's in. That's you know what insane. that tells me? You know what that tells me? That tells me that someone has to go after Moana and have him put the heart of Tiki Tahiti back into the exactly. The, yeah, exactly. That's what has to happen. Tom Hanks has to jump into that volcano. That was Tom Hanks, right? Joe I don't versus think... a volcano. Pearly says yes. Okay. okay. Pearly, yeah. The live studio <laughs> audience approves. There he goes. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were talking about The Rock all of a sudden. No? No, no, Dwayne Dwayne, Dwayne no he, he had the little elephant, which, by the way, was a real thing. Uh, he, see? I sent it to you. I sent you, you sent the video. it. And I saw yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. From I our, still think you faked it. Uh, Adobe Illustrating do lots of cool shit. That's all I'm saying. It was obviously <laughs> not a real miniature <laughs> oh, elephant. Speaking of, speaking what? of Adobe Illustrator <laughs> and, and changing things, it's, there's, a, there's a really cool show on Netflix that shows all the cool things of internet. And scarier, better for worse. It's called Buzz the Internet. And, yeah, Buzzfeed. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Or Reddit, maybe. It's, so it's actually, 4chan. It's, it's actually yeah. really good. Even it's worse, 8chan. Well. <laughs> and they were looking at, um, uh, based not Adobe Illustrator, but essentially Q&A. editing software yeah. for Oh, for you know, I think I know what you've seen. Yeah, so yes, yes. This is why when you That's have these up. companies That's... that do, when you have these companies that have this new feature that, oh, we recognize your voice when you come in. Yeah. Yeah. Technology is going to be obsolete in five years. Yep, because it'll, be, it'll be facial recognition. Well, no, because no, you because can they, synthesize the voice well that. enough. That's what this whole thing was. It wasn't just voice that they're modulating. Yeah. It's, it wasn't just photos. It was live video implanting a face. They so had like Barack like Obama. A green screen kind of on the face and making Barack Obama say, like you know, sex kill price. all puppies, right? Like... <laughs> That's amazing. And it, and it look, it's his voice. It's I his see sound, the wheels turning mannerism. in Mike's head. How can he get his own show? This is incredible. <laughs> like, Mike's I could, getting his own that show. That would be an amazing YouTube show, and it I would really love was. to be a guest on that. Yeah. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so much, oh, yeah. you're already a guest on that show. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And we have our guest here, former president of the United States, Barack Obama. <laughs> there it is. I, uh. No, he never that's, says, uh, Bill. Yeah, oh, that's Bill. Yeah, I he, knew better Clinton. Than uh, him. He never, he never said. Uh, that, that was actually one of the things I appreciate about his rhetoric because I recognize the training uh, in that. That he no, just no, pauses. He, he pauses. Instead. Yeah, he pauses instead. I think. Uh, I I think it's very important that we make sure we've got it all right. He does a good Obama. There Not bad. Go. There you go. See, <laughs> I do a better Clinton because uh, that's. Uh, Damn, that. that's uncanny. <laughs> I did not have, have sexual, sexual relations, relations with everyone. That. Everyone can do a Clinton. Yeah, everyone can do it. Trump though. Not everyone can do a fucking Trump. Well, you know, you know who does a good Trump? Like, obviously parody Trump. Colbert. Colbert does a good Trump. Yeah, yeah. I have to look that up. Oh, he he has this show called The Cartoon President. I think you'd like it because I remember the the guy who's on SNL it's for the longest C-Span, time. Right? There was a guy on SNL. <laughs> there was a guy on Saturday Donald Night Live Trump doing doing Donald president. Trump impersonations for a while. And oh, I mean, that was uh, that was Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. I, a guy. I could Alec tell. Ball. Fine. <laughs> but I could tell that what he was trying to do. It's like saying Tommy Lee Jones should not be a FEMA official. God, right. Exactly. What's wrong with you? Yeah. See, but I'm trying to loop it back to the topic. I, is that going to be like the recurring theme? <laughs> is it going to be? <laughs> going to be? Tommy Lee Jones is everything. I have, is. A, I, I have a Tommy Lee Jones tattoo. Show I'm me. not going to tell you Don't where. Don't show me. Damn. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where. Good. But when I'm on all fours, I can make him dance. I, yeah, and moving on. <laughs> yeah, right. I need to get that image out of my head right now. Please get that image out of my head. Josh, say something. Anything. Anything coherent. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones' dick. <laughs> you have a tattoo too, don't you? <laughs> we sword fight a lot. Oh, my <laughs> word. You, you don't? Both- Remember Ghostbusters and say, don't cross the streams? Don't we cross, cross the streams <laughs> all the time. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I totally d- I guess- well, this show's going in an awkward direction. Yeah. yeah. All right, I, so I blame final- the bucket beers. Okay, so final thoughts. But- we're, to, we're to final thoughts. Sure. Yes, I blame this guy for bucket beers. Yes. So anyway, uh, final thoughts on this. Um, so disaster relief obviously yeah. is... Uh... uh. <laughs> Disaster relief. If disaster. you're in Canada, it's well. If you're in the States, okay. no, obviously, and disaster relief. Mercy you're on your soul. Uh, yeah. All right, so obviously, <laughs> disaster relief is important. Yeah. Um, if there's one thing that you can fix about the way disasters are treated in Canada, so let's say, forget the US, they've got their own problems. We're a Canadian podcast. If there's one thing you can fix about disaster relief in this country, mm. 
what would it be? Mike, you go first. Okay, I'm then going to talk about what I view, what I view the biggest disaster that keeps on coming up in Canada is forest fires. Um, this is going to sound really weird. I think we should start more of them. Uh, part of the problem out there out west is the fact that we've got all this dry tinder that's that's up there, just ready to go up at any minute because but of this pine beetle that, that went through and killed everything. Women. Right, the, the pine beetle came through and killed everything. We've got mountainsides full of dead, dry wood. We need to start doing controlled burns. We need to start doing controlled burns around the area. So, dry uh, tinder is how I met my second wife. Actually, no. So controlled burns is actually what got us into this situation. So they've been doing studies. What, so we used to think the old adage of, the, of this was controlled burns, and we actually uh, burned all the low growth. Okay, and that's how but, we're but, but, I think, but I think Mike's saying more investment in prevention. Yes. In, okay, okay. So yeah. more investment in prevention. Yeah. Not necessarily. I didn't yeah. mean to criticize you, but it, no, it's no, actually no. odd that you brought that up because, yeah. L- let's, let's I feel fo- like maybe we're doing the controlled burns wrong. Okay, tell you what. M- more more prevention, less on cure, right? Let, yes. More prevention, which, by the way, has to include some kind of macro scale because I don't care how high you put the fines, people are still going to fling that darn cigarette would, butt out of their window. Would that also include things like climate change? Hmm. Well, in what context? Like, do the forest fires... like Because that's, that's the... Well, you're only I'm, talking I'm, about forest fires. We're talking about other disasters. Climate change is a leading cause of a lot of these fucking disasters. Only you can but put out small forest The fires. Emerald Ash Borer pushed north because of the warming climate. Okay. So you are dealing with uh, carbon. So that, Mike but that is in also, favor of a carbon tax. Shush. <laughs> what the hell? No. All right. So my, my thing is simple. It's okay. Mike. My <laughs> thing is a you very time. simple answer, but a really complex problem to fix. So my my. Thing I think for emergency response would actually be dealing with media sensationalism mm. because if there, with everything's a twenty four or seven breaking news, yeah. you actually have breaking news that the sky really is actually fucking falling. Yep. that people don't take it seriously anymore, and that's a big problem. That's huge. Yeah. And actually, um, I'm actually in agreement with Josh and Mike on this point Yay. because I think that we need to spend way more time and way more effort and money on things like prevention and. Communication and Communication, integration. Basically, we need to spend at least as much money on prevention as we do on fighting the fires. Yeah. And if we're not, then we've got a problem. Anyway, we're getting to the end of our show, so I just want to thank all of our sponsors, which is... Tommy Lee Jones. And Cool Beer. And Building Sustainable (laughs) Cities. By the way, if anyone from Cool Beer is listening... Fuck off. Yeah. We're, <laughs> just, yeah. Just, we're just, not sorry. You need to apologize sorry. for whatever that was in that bottle. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to send us free beer, don't. don't. <laughs> anyway, check out our podcasts on fertilizer. iTunes, Spotify. Twoandchange.ca. Twoandchange.ca. Check out our blog. I promise I'm actually going to post something because I'm Are actually... You? I am because I'm headed to... Uh, by the time you listen to the show, I should actually be in Germany. Ah. So I'm going to be posting some live updates. Love it. From Germany. There wearing you go. my leather Germany. pants. Germany. Awesome. Springtime. No, 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 no pearly. Yeah. No. We talked about this. Do not do the salute. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Anyway. And the studio audience goes wild. Woo! Oh, shit. Anyway, for two and change, I'm Tim. I'm Josh. I'm Mike. And apparently we have Hitler. Anyway, yeah. we'll see you next time. See you next time. Oh, what was that all about? <laughs> Springtime. <laughs> or hit. No, 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 no. We, we, we have... In Belgium town. <laughs> this is an original composition. It is. We have the call for a pole pot in Cambodia. We have a constitutional right to make fun of people, which is what we're doing right now. Just in case anybody was unfamiliar with it. No, that's actually been reversed by the notwithstanding clause. Are you for real? <laughs> <laughs>